Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. I'm going to do a short video on the G-Force Arms GF1 12 gauge semi-automatic shotgun. I saw some reviews on YouTube, saw some of the problems that uh, people were having with them, uh, a couple of problems in particular. I'm going to go over this one and show you what I found and uh, show you what I did. I uh, removed magazine tube. I'm going to show you how. Mine actually came off by hand, even though it was pretty tight. Uh, I also modified it for the extended mag tube. I'm going to show you what I did and what it looks like. Okay, first thing up is the barrel. You can see it's uh, shiny looking. It looks like it would be blasted, maybe bare metal. So I sent them an email and asked them if it was chrome line. They said, yes, it is chrome line. So, but it's still just a little rough on the inside of the chamber. So I'm going to polish it out with some uh, Plitz metal polish. You can take a wooden dowel, bark up the end of it, wrap some uh, steel wool around it, and then put a heavy cloth patch on it and dab it real good with metal polish and put it on a drill and polish that chamber out. I, mean, I have a, uh, a brake, uh, kind of like a brake hone uh, type of thing. It goes on a drill, puts some oil on it, and it really makes it slick. So... But that was a problem I found on the barrel. I'm going to show you uh, here a couple of shells. You might be able to see that rough around that aluminum case head. That is a uh, super speed Winchester eight shot, one ounce load. This is a double lot buck one and a quarter ounce load and i think you can see the roughness on there it acts like sandpaper in that chamber and it's holding on to the shell these almost cycled uh completely it got about halfway up to the chamber and i had to bump the the bolt knob to get it in all the way but uh, uh these the double odd buck one and a quarter ounce shot is 1345 feet per second the Winchester was 1325 feet per second. Also got a couple of gas ports in there. I use a drill the same size, a drill bit, same size as uh, the gas port hole to clean the carbon out. That's how I clean the gas ports on all of mine. Um, also notice there's a guy on YouTube who uh older guy cowboy hat out in the desert somewhere he said he had a problem with the trigger pin that was coming out but i don't think it was coming out i think it was just partially out and maybe from the factory this little tube right here is a metal tube you can push this and let the carrier go up and it goes all the way through Okay, this is metal. As you can see, this trigger pin goes all the way through, and uh, that's the way it's supposed to be. It's a pretty snug fit on the receiver. But what you can do, if you have a problem with the trigger pin coming out while you're shooting it, you can take a pair of pliers and crimp. Just squeeze this tube on each end just a little bit, just enough to give it resistance against the uh, trigger guard pin and uh, won't come out but that'll be a, a fix for that okay one i looked at the receiver real well the finish on the inside is really good uh no machine marks or anything on the inside uh the outside is pretty good as far as the finish on that um one thing i did with a bolt handle being the other problem that some guys were having is they couldn't get it out. So I'm going to show you what I did, which is a really the best fix you can do. Okay. 
one side you have this this uh, this center part here. You don't want to modify this side at all, but you can see on the other side you have a you have a a round dimple. It's pretty deep. So what I did is you can see it's got a groove between the outside and that dimple. I just made a little groove in there using a Dremel bit, which is a diamond type cutter. And I just went across it in the middle of it to make a little valley, a little, little uh, valley in there to uh, transition that uh, uh, ball bearing that is on the carrier a little ball bearing there in the middle you don't want to modify the ball bearing because it's swaged in there can't get it out you can't push it down it's spring loaded and when this goes in it goes in like so and it goes in very easily and you push it in all the way and what i did was i pull it out Part, part of the way and I wiggle it and I wiggle it and it comes right out put that little valley in there with with the bolt installed on the carrier and put that little valley in there with that diamond that little diamond bit using a Dremel and you want to go you know pretty flush with it and go across there this is about a sixteenth of an inch deep go just enough to where it makes it easy to get it in and out and it will not come out unless you take it out that's the best way to fix that problem okay on the magazine tube what i did was i put mine in the lathe on the very on the very end of it if you look it has a lip it's about three thirty seconds of an inch wide goes all the way around the inside and uh, i think you see pretty good i took this out uh to my shop and i took that ridge off using my lathe and internal uh tool holder and then i used really fine sandpaper on high speed on the lathe and smoothed it out i mean it's so smooth that uh you know the the uh plastic plastic piece that's on the end of it goes right through and goes no problem and uh it'll work perfectly now if you don't have a lathe and not everybody does the other thing to do is you can get a little drum sander this one is for a drill for a hand drill okay you get them in different diameters get one that's about five eighths diameter that way you can go into that tube i think this might be three quarter diameter the tube on the outside is one inch but you can go on the inside it's pretty darn close fit and you can go you know just far enough to take that out and then use really fine sandpaper by hand and polish it out with a metal polish or if you have an adjustable reamer like this the further up you adjust it the bigger the diameter and you can use a reamer by hand don't put it on a drill or a power tool do it by hand and you could take that ridge out that also works so but that's that's uh the way i took that ridge out now if you don't have the ability to take this off of the receiver by hand you can use i made a couple of uh, wood blocks uh you can see that i have two by four blocks. I took two of them side by side, drilled a one inch hole in the middle of it. Okay. 
you put the tube into that and then clamp that in a vise to hold the tube and you can turn the receiver if you don't have a one inch bit or uh, anything to drill a one inch hole you can use a strap wrench put some heavy leather pads on both sides of the receiver and lightly clamp it into a vise very lightly and use the strap wrench on the tube on the tube itself and turn the tube and only do that until you break it loose once it's broken loose you know you can take the tube out by hand and uh this one actually i put some gr uh, grease on it and uh you can screw it back in put it in hand tight and uh you won't have any problem with it and as you can see it goes right in put some grease on it just enough to get it wet and uh tighten it down by hand as best you can and uh you'll be able to get it off later on if you need to polish the, the outside of the tube or maybe clean the inside don't want to do it on a receiver uh, no reason why you can't but uh that's uh, that's what i found on this uh that's how i fixed the problem uh with this one and uh other than the rough chamber i'd still need to polish out almost cycled on these but not quite so i'm not going to hold the bolt back uh and compress the recoil spring for a week because you're weakening the recoil spring uh polish that chamber and i don't think you'll have a problem uh the heavier loads you know the pressure builds up in the chamber of the barrel more because it takes longer for the heavier load to exit the barrel than it does for the lighter shot the lighter shot uh you know if you want to pull the bolt back and and wait a week you know that's up to you so but that's what i did i wanted to show you what i did and hope you guys liked the video uh hopefully you'll subscribe to my channel i have more other more videos on some other things uh, give me a thumbs up let everybody else know Thanks for stopping by, everyone.